The pattern I'm using today is the new Wendy Bird. I already have the shoulder seams attached. We need to find the quarters of both the neck hole and the neck band. First you'll fold the bodice in half so that the shoulders are aligned and mark the fold with a pin or a clip for the front and the back. And then you'll open it up and line up those two clips on top of each other. Smooth out the neck band. I'm sorry, the neck hole. And then add a clip to each of those folds. There, now we have the neck hole quartered. I have the neck band sewn together at the short ends so that the seam lays flat when you fold it in half. I like to cut the seam allowance right in the middle without clipping through the needle stitches. And then when you fold the band in half, you push one side up and one side down, and then clip it together. Fold it together so that the raw edges are meeting all the way around. And I like to press it to find the opposite of the seam. Fold it and then clip that fold and then you match up those two clips and then you add a clip to each of the folds. I like to work with the bodice before the, the sides are sewn together. You can do it after the sleeves are attached or before. You'll match up the seam of the band with the back center seam. You want raw edges together and then clip them together. And then the opposite pins for the front. And then match up the other two also. And now we have the neck band pinned on there completely. This pattern uses a half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to line up the raw edge with my second small line here on my brother serger. I like to start at the back center. You stretch it just gently and then lay it down under the presser foot. The knife should be in the up position that way you can slide the fabric all the way underneath and just start surging on and level it out with the second mark. Okay, I already have it leveled here at the knife and then you'll just stretch your band gently as you go around. I forgot to mention that lately I've been liking to have the the shirt wrong side out with the band on the inside. It's just been easier for me to line it up without having to worry about this fabric being in the way. Every time I stop, I'm just stretching it so that the band matches up with the neck hole. I'm not stretching the neck hole at all. And then lining up all of the, the three layers of the raw edge. I have this side, the shoulder seam facing that way. So I just flipped this shoulder seam facing the same direction. It doesn't really matter, it's just something I do.
Okay, and now we're coming up to where we began, and you can see that right here I was using the correct seam allowance, and this is where I surged on. So I'm just going to aim this at the, the half inch, and then just keep it straight. And once we get to where the knife is coming up on our threads here, I pull it just slightly to the side so that it doesn't cut the stitches we already sewed. Okay, and now my needle has hit the, the beginning of the stitches, so I'm going to lift up my foot and surge off, and then just clip those threads. And you can see that I overlapped it right there. Now I take this over to my iron and press the seam allowance down. Right now it's kind of just sticking up, so I want to press it down. But I do that on the right side so that I make sure that this seam right here is crisp. Now if you'd like, you can take this over to your sewing machine and do a a zigzag stitch around or a double needle or you can if you have a cover stitch you can go around that way.